I found new beer from a new brewery that I've never heard of before, and I, I think they might be a little new to the game as well, if I'm not mistaken, but today we're mixing two things, beers and grenades. Let's do this. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you guys is by Grenadier Brewing. This is their premium lager, coming in at 6% alcohol by volumes. You have the picture of a grenade and some flowers around it, because that's exactly what grenades do. They explode flowers. Maybe not flowers, but they, they do explode. There's also a little Canadian leaf right on the uh, the, the, the hinge of, uh, of the grenade, which is pretty cool. Made in Toronto, so they are Toronto-based. Yep, Grenadier Brewing Co. proudly brewed in Canada, Toronto, Ontario. Premium lager, 6% ABV. No listed IBUs here on the very black and gold can. I really do like this can design. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, on the website, any IBU listings? Nope. On Untapped, anything? No as well. So it's going to be a big mystery to all of us. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. We're not going to throw it because we don't throw beer, but if it was a grenade, you usually pull the pin and chuck it out of here because you do not want that by you. Because I mean, it would be very, very bad news, and grenades are bad for people's health, according to doctors. Nine out of ten doctors recommend you do not pull the pin on a grenade and leave it in your personal space. Let's pour it up. Beer 101 pint glass sounds like a great glass for a premium pulse, uh, premium lager. Sorry. Boom, boom. Looking at the beer, very golden in color, looking like a fairly solid lager. No haze on it. Very clear. Nice, just a touch of off-white head on top. Is it off-white? Mm, might be the lighting, but more or less white head. Looking pretty. Let's have a smell. On the nose, on the nose, no, nothing too exciting yet. You're getting a bit of caramel, light toffee. I want to say there's a slight corny note to it, but very, 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 very minimal compared to other uh, lagers. But yeah, caramel, toffee, light toffee. Slightly bready, slightly sweeter as well, but not not like a cloyingly sweet like some uh, like 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 macro beers. But it just just a nice kick a uh, kick of caramel in there. Yeah, it smells pretty straightforward. Let's have a sip. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of melon sweetness with some other caramel, light caramel and toffee sweetness as well going on in it. A little bit of breadiness, slight biscuity, light biscuit in the background as well, accompanying the uh, the breadiness of the beer. There is a touch of of a, of a hoppiness, uh, not traditional, not not like hoppy as in like IPA, but a little bit of hot bitterness um, <clears throat> right in the background, tasting, getting getting a flavor of sort of a sour dough bread, which. Um, would seem kind of out of place, being at uh, the beginning and most of the middle portion of the beer is a bit sweeter, either like like a like a sweeter bread, biscuity, or the caramel or toffee. But that sourdough note, that hoppy, slight hoppy bitterness, is actually a really good addition and finishes it off. Not overly sweet, but cuts that sweetness and gives it just a touch of dryness, just an ever so touch of dryness. But then again, that was the first sip, and we need more. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Good body on here. Light to moderate body. Very fulfilling. Beautiful beginning, middle and end flavor. Yes, that bitterness, that sourdoughiness that you get right at the finish that lingers, that dries it just a little bit, just a touch. Seems a little bit out of place. But it's not too too bad. It, it it does flow really well overall. So far so good. A little bit of grassy notes in there. Uh, not grassy, but more weedy notes. Wheaty notes, not weedy. Wheaty notes in there. That is 
it's a straight up solid beer. If you're coming from uh, from your macro beers, you just like a straight up lager, nothing fancy, no pale ales, no IPAs, no stouts, no sours, no saisons, nothing like that. You want a solid uh, lager, but you want to not get macro. You want to jump into the craft beer side of things. So far, Grandier Brewing Premium Lager actually coming out swinging with a solid with a solid pint. This is, has everything you want in a beautiful, well-rounded lager that doesn't break boundaries, doesn't jump into crazy flavors. It's simple, yet elegant, very flavorful, and just, it's, it's, oh, it's quite enjoyable. This is a solid, solid lager. It takes all the aspects of what the macro beers are giving to you on the craft side of things. Ex excellently executed in my opinion. This is a, this might be one of my main main go-to lagers now. One because it does it does carry the same qualities as macro beers, but on an upscale level. And also coming in at six percent ABV, just a touch higher in alcohol, a little bit higher. Can't go wrong there. This is this has been a great treat. I'm very happy I picked this up. <laughs> Looking on the can. Grenadier Brewing Company from Toronto, premium lager, 6% ABV, unknown IBUs. On the side, we have a uh, description, no. But we do have ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Very, very simple. Return for refund where applicable, blah, blah, blah. On the bottom, there is no date code. There's no canned on or best before date, none that I can find. No reading that says, hey, check here, but it's not the end of the world, but I do love Candon and Best Before Dates. Either one works for me. It's up to you guys, up to you brewers to do that. So Grenadier Brewing, if you guys are watching or if anybody on your team is watching, add a date code. Add a date code some way, somehow, even if it's just like a sticker that's like printed out, really simple, and you just slap it on the bottom there, definitely gives you a leg up gives you a lot of points not only in my book but in the book around everybody and all the consumers because then they know they're getting a fresh product when you don't have one you're just you just don't know you're kind of taking you're kind of taking a wild shot you're kind of just grabbing the can off the shelf and hoping for the best and you're just praying that it is good stock or that the LCBO is kind of doing what they're doing with keeping stock but we all know the LCBO is absolutely terrible in that regard Sorry, but yeah, day code on the bottom would just mm, finish it off beautifully. No description, not the end of the world because it looks like the website has some good information. Speaking of the website, grenadierbrewing.com. You go here, you go to our beer page, and it looks like they only have one beer. And it's this one, exactly this one. The premium locker has a big picture of the beer looking a little, looking a little, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing to be honest. <clears throat> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, a 6% lager they say. If you scroll down a little bit more, category is premium, alcohol content 6% ABV, aroma is pale gold healthy head, which I think is probably uh, where it should be appearance, not aroma in my opinion. But palette is showing perfectly carbonated, clean, crisp with a hint of honey sweetness. Honey sweetness, honey sweetness. That's one flavor I need to get around. Caramel, toffee, honey. Kind of similar for my palate. It's just, it's little bits and, and, and pieces of, of, of sensory that just need to be, uh, to need to be worked on from my palate with those three. But honey, I can see it. Finish, clear and smooth, slightly buttery. Slightly butterly. So when it comes to butter and beer, um, usually that that's that, that's a bad thing, um, because that means there, there, there's diacetyl, diacetyl, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, slightly butterly kind of gives me a little a bit of a a bit of a you know a, a just weird feeling because it's like are they trying to just pass off diacetyl, or is it actually like like a butterscotch? 
um, that, that that's intended. It's, it's, it's an intended flavor not because of diacetyl or diacetyl. Um, those are the same words, just different pronunciations for whoever you are. So that gives me a little bit of a, a little bit of beer anxiety in a sense. Um, hopefully it is an added flavor, not a byproduct of diacetyl. But ju just so you guys know, I'm not, I, I have no idea. I don't think it's diacetyl. I don't taste anything that's off with this beer. I don't taste an overly buttery uh, flavor. But just, just to note, I'm very sure that is more of like a butterscotch um, flavor, not from diacetyl. But don't quote me on this. I have no idea. This is my first time having the beer. I've never seen their facility. I know nothing about the brewery, realistically. I'm learning as you guys are right now. Um, so, but just something to note as well. And on the finish, after the finish, sorry, we have food pairings. One of my favorite things to read, food pairings, seafood and poultry, rice and noodle dishes, light sauces, vegetable dishes, fried foods, cured meats, salted snacks. Now, one thing I wanna talk about food pairings is that some breweries do have that category. Maybe they list one or two types of foods or dishes. That's great, I love food pairings nonetheless, but when a brewery puts on a multitude, a good range of different foods and on the same category, even, even better. Food pairings from seafood to poultry, two different things. Uh, rice and noodle dishes, similar but also different. Uh, light sauces, that's great. Vegetable dishes for, you, for, you, for your vegetarians or vegan people, which, you know, they have their own thing going on. Fried foods, perfect because I could definitely see this with like some, uh, what am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Fried chicken, like KFC or something like that, or Popeyes, I don't know, I don't know. It means a lager, it's very versatile. Cured meats, 100%. Charcuterie board, you're good to go. Salted snacks, chips, chips, crackers, what have you. Ooh, crackers and soup and this. When, you're, when you have a cold and when you're sick, hey, when you're cold and when you have a sick doesn't mean you can't still drink beer, right, right? Persevere, but yeah, that is absolutely perfect. I already know what I want to pair with this uh, One lazy afternoon or lazy dinner, but overall beautiful looking website all the information or a good bit amount of information is there Boom, love it Moving over to untapped premium lager by Grand Deer Brewing Co has been given a 3.44 bottle caps out of five and that's out of just ooh, just under 250 ratings sitting at 249 ratings solid solid score and finally, moving over to the LCBO, where you can pick up Grenadier Premium Lager. You're going to be spending $2.95. A sub $3 beer coming in at 6% ABV. That is absolutely fan freaking tastic. Hey, I'm willing to pay that. I'm willing to pay that any day of the week. This has just been a treat to enjoy. Beautiful flavor. Beautiful flavor. Good carbonation, silky smooth, goes down great. Not too far off from those macro beers, but just on an upscale premium level with, with more refined flavors and flowiness and everything good about macros, but even better. Not shooting outside of the box in terms of lagers, but something that a lot of people can get behind. Craft brewers and macro drinkers alike can definitely get behind this beer in my opinion. My dad would love this beer. Side note, you've seen him dancing in the uh, in the uh, popping bottles and dancing dad's vlog that I did. He would get behind this beer 100% because he's a very simple guy and he likes simple beers. Simple never means terrible. Simple is always great. This has just been a great treat. Dad, if you're watching, go pick up some Grenadier or I'll pick you some up when I come home. But this is fan freaking tastic. Cheers on the final sip, guys. Let's get right to ratings and wrap this thing up. Grenadier Brewing, your beer got tossed into my life and blew up in my face in the most amazing way possible. This thing is fan freaking tastic. It's simple, it's traditional, it's easy going. It is just a solid, solid lager. Premium lager, 6% ABV, great classic flavors that you that you that everybody know and love from a lager, but just on a oh in a beautiful package. I I, I can't I, I don't know what else to say. Grenadier Brewing Company gets a solid. Premium, for the premium lager, gets a solid 9 out of 10 just because it's so well done. It's nothing out of the box, but it's everything that everybody knows done to perfection. See, you don't need to have crazy, crazy beers, crazy flavors or anything like that. 
you just have to do a solid beer to get a good mark in my book and this thing is just it's hitting every mark for what exactly exactly what it is very very pleased as for presentation i do love the can design black and gold it looks like the uh, the roses or the uh, the flowers on here do have a color but it, it's it's just as dark it's almost as dark as the black background so they kind of get hidden unless you look up close information on the can is good you got ingredients no uh, brewed on or canned on or best before date, which is a bit of a bummer. Adding that would just boom up the points a lot more. But website information is solid. You got the category, you got the alcohol content. There should be an appearance thing because the appearance details are actually listed under aroma, but there's no appearance section. So I think website guy might need to work on that a little bit, but nothing too crazy. You got your palette, you got your finish, and you got a wide variety of foods to pair with this beer. So that's absolutely awesome. Overall presentation from the website to the can gets a solid gets a solid 7.5 out of 10. If it had the can on date, definitely the score would be higher. But hey, but hey. And maybe a description either on the can or the website would be perfect, but hey, you get what you get. This is still a solid beer. Realistically, when the beer tastes good, that's exactly what it comes down to. Before I leave, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Brewski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Brewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Look out, grenade. Boom, 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 boom. This beer is hitting home and it's hitting all the marks. This is a great beer to enjoy in many parks. Cheers.